Oh my god. I'm still alive. Hey, I'm not dead. Let me out of here. What are you doing? Damn it. I guess I'm gonna have to pie me my way out of this motherfucker. Holy crap. That was a bloodbath out there. How do we survive? Yeah, I'm still shaking. Hey, which one of you guys sharded out there? Twelve seconds later. So what if we leave? Just as bad out there as it is in here, god damn it. This is just a game. If you just follow the rules, you can leave this place safely with the prize money we promised. Really? Just follow the rules? What about the part where you let other players beat us to death over our hard-boiled egg while you sit there and watch like a bunch of assholes? Come on! You think you'll get away with this, huh? The police will come. They'll be here since we all disappeared. And I bet they have everybody's phones tracked here already. It's actually a good point. They let them bring their cell phones with them. And after they gas them, did they hack in all their iPhones and put them in airplane mode? 455 people disappeared at the same time. Now there must be some missing persons reports filed. The police can easily see that all their phones went to the same dock at the same time. And why did the detective searching for his brother just track his phone? Also, they apparently get cell service on the island for some reason, so it would be pretty easy to track everyone. No way would they get away with that! Look at all your hostages! You're doomed if you don't let us go! all dead! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Consent form clause three. If all of the players agree to stop playing, the games are allowed to end. Check out the big brain on Brad. Wow, he must be a genius or something. He remembered one of the three clauses in the contract. He must have studied business at SNU or something. This man here went to SNU for business. He went to SNU for business. Sun Moon Dong's golden child, the genius Cho Sang Woo, who went to SNU. You're still the genius who got accepted to SNU business school. Come on. Business at SNU? A total of 255 players were eliminated during the first game. A hundred million won is at stake per player. If you wish to give up on playing, the 25.5 billion won will be sent to the bereaved families of the late players. Quick question. When you give the families the money, how are you going to explain what it's for? Does some dude in a pink onesie mask just drive up in a van and say, Hey, here's a hundred million won for your dead husband because he didn't know how to not freeze in a f up unbalanced position and got schwacked. Bye. It seems we're down to the last vote. How convenient. 201 players left. What if there were 200 and it was a tie? How convenient, isn't it? And I don't understand. I thought the old man created the whole thing. Why is he voting to stop it? You're confused, old man. Can't you see that? If the majority of you wish to participate again, then we will resume the game. So, goodbye for now. So you're telling me there's a chance. Hey driver, can we make a quick stop at Taco Bell? Ah! You know, for a super secret organization, they're kind of sloppy. If you're trying to keep your murder games on the down low, maybe don't toss people out half naked, blindfolded, and tied up on public streets. In my experience, that sort of thing tends to attract attention from the cops. Who are you? This sh is totally sloppy. I'm timing you, moron. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, rub your wrist against my belt buckle. That'll do it. Yeah! Oh, is it working? I can't feel it. Okay, I'm gonna save you, man. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna save you, man. Yeah. I'm gonna save you. Yeah. Hey, you gotta untie me. I help untie you, then you're just gonna hassle me for your cash again. Okay, fine. Forget the money, okay? Seriously? Yeah, I swear I'll forget the whole thing. You little... Come here, get back here. My money, give it back. Why don't you wait until she cuts your ankles first before you try to grab her? Man, this guy has the worst timing ever. Now you're gonna die, you f***ing asshole. <laughs> okay, second worst timing ever. This is me checking my phone after getting back from vacation. You've 
gotta realize what a massive deal all this was. So the Squid Games has been going on since the 90s and thousands have gone missing at the same time, but this is the first time anyone's ever reported anyone missing? Give us the killer's description. They all had these masks on the whole time we were there. What about all the security camera footage inside the subway of the slapping recruiter? But then, you know red light, green light? Wait, that's for kids. Is that what they made you play? Yes! So you're telling me 250 people all got shot because they didn't know how not to freeze in a f***ed up unbalanced position? And then one of the players sharded? Did I get that right? Yes. Actually, the sharding part sounds pretty realistic. Where the heck are you? Why are you calling me this early with this nonsense? Sir, don't do Look, this! We're sorry, mister. Please. You better go home. Ten seconds later. By the way, did you notice the headlights were on one second, then turned off, then back on again, then off? What's up, James Cameron? You burnt. You better go home. You sure you dialed the right number, huh? The number that you have dialed does not exist. So the cop just dialed the number and the woman answered. How do they disconnect it 30 seconds later? Was he drunk? Some crazy hobo guy. Everything's crazy around here today. You get a grip. Wanna go back in? Get a grip. The dude's just standing there. And what else is crazy? By sheer coincidence. Sangwoo, what you doing here? What a coincidence. I was just about to finish thinking of you. How long has it been since you came by? His rent was due a week ago. Wait, so the head. front man was still living here a week ago? Damn, he must have been on the management fast track program. You'd think he'd have to work his way up from circle, triangle, to square dude. Or maybe he was just paying rent the whole time? He could have ARB and beat it for some extra wan. Some crazy hobo guy. Everything's crazy around here today. What a coincidence. You mean the stupid game guy? What you need his name for, Detective Huang? Let me think about it. Sung Sung Hyun. Sung Dong's where he lives, right? You're right. Sung Yong. I got a great memory. Sir, stop. Pay what you owe me now. Ah, I'm busy now. We'll talk later. Give me my money back. You shit don't. Give me my money. Ah! Oh, damn. That's a shame. I'm sure you already know, but you're going to need to start the process over again. At least 40 million. If you want to get them to the south, then. Ow! Ah! Somebody spit! Uh, damn it. Uh, uh. You pull anything on me. I'll rip your f***ing throat wide open and that's that. Come on. Do it. Do it! Oh look, the world's best pickpocket again. She was able to cut a hole in his jacket and steal his money without using either one of her hands. Does she really need to even cut holes to pickpocket? Let's check the tape again. Okay, left hand occupied, right hand occupied. Yeah. It's not easy. You got mad skills. Don't be so hard on yourself, you know? You got mad skills. Thank you for calling 1-900-GILF Hunter. How you doing tonight, baby? Oh, I'm doing real good. What are you wearing? I'm just cutting up some squid in an old granny apron. Oh, so hot. Want to touch the hiney? Oh no, it looks like your credit card was rejected. No, you can't do this to me. I don't care if your son went to SNU. For business. Business? He must be a genius. And he's not just smart, he's handsome too. He married yet? Well, the man's standards are set pretty high. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. Oh, hell no. Are you Mr. Cho Song Woo's mother? Well, we're the police. So this show has budget for hundreds of actors and elaborate sets, but ran out of money for a decent looking police badge? Looks more like he's ready to go to Comic-Con to get his Boba Fett poster signed. They're starting up again. Gather all the boys and meet us there. We'll beat up those masked shitheads and then we break in and take all the cash. So he thinks his gang can just break into the secret island fortress and steal the prize money? Did you not see the hundreds of guards with submachine guns? In the Philippines, how'd you lose so much money at that casino? I guess this guy's never been in a casino before. It's called gambling dumb. No shit, Sherlock. Is this really the best place for an ambush on a well-lit highway? And how come there's never any traffic on the show? Poor 
Egypt or any alimony or helped us with anything. And now you're asking us to give you money? Get money from my husband. Well, then could you, could you ask him for it? Honey, could you give me two million won from my deadbeat ex-husband who steals from his mother and is also a terrible father, but somehow on the Squid Games has an unwavering moral compass and always does the right thing? <laughs> Honey, we're home. Ah, not this asshole again. This is awkward. You needed money? Keep showing up. Uh, do you think money solves everything? Uh, isn't that the premise of this whole show? And society? I guess this super secret organization isn't worried about a cop driving by and seeing a dude in a gas mask driving a van full of unconscious people in the back. Sloppy. Sloppy. Very sloppy. Sloppy is fine. And how the hell do they even drive at night with that mask on? You know they can't see dick out of that thing. Oh, it's that easy not to get gassed? He just turned it on for a minute and then opened the windows? If all the other people knew the gas was coming, why didn't they all hold their breath? For five minutes. You think you can hold your breath for five minutes? Wow, you can hold your breath a really long time. 